Hello and welcome to another video where we're going to take a look at Persona 3 Reload on my RTX 3080 Ti Ryzen 9 5900X. For that we're going to have to download this mod because Persona 3 Reload has a 120 FPS cap at the highest, which if you ask me is plenty for the game, but it also doesn't support ultra wide. I will leave a link in the description, thanks to Lyle who created this mod. And a couple things, so the latest version of the mod, he removed the FPS cap because I guess it was causing some issues. I personally never encountered any issues other than some dialogue lines, sometimes um, skipping, not, not the actual lines, but just the voice. I only encountered this a couple times in my eight hours of play, so I don't know why he removed it, but if you go back to the version 1.0 here and download that, you can uncap the FPS, no problem. So I'll be showing you how to install that, but if all you want is the ultra wide and don't care about the FPS cap, you can download the latest, it's the same. But anyway, we're gonna download this zip file here for version 1.0.0 and it should download it to your downloads folder. Next, you wanna put that into the game and here we're using the Game Pass version of the game, but it's the same for Steam. You just right click on the game, go to manage, files, browse. That'll bring up the install directory of Persona 3. Then you're gonna double click on Persona 3 reload folder, content, and then you're going to open up your downloads folder. And then you're just going to double click on the zip file, grab this P3R folder and drag it onto your Persona 3 install folder. Um, it shouldn't ask you to replace anything if you haven't installed the file already. I already did, so I'm doing it just for the video here. But if it does, just click replace. And then if all you were looking for was an ultra wide fix, you should be good to go. But you can actually make further tweaks. And if you want to uncap the FPS, you have to go edit the .ini file, which I will show you. You just double click on this P3R folder, binaries, WinGDK, and then this P3R fix.ini file. If you don't see a .ini, chances are you're not showing file extensions, which if you want to do that, click on view, show, and then just check this file name extensions. Now double click on the that INI file and you should get a text file like this. Let's zoom out a little. Ultra wide, it's already enabled by default. So if you leave this at zero here, the chosen resolution, it'll run at your monitor's resolution. So for example, right now I'm running at 3440 by 1440 ultra wide display. I'm gonna leave it at zero because I want it to run at that. But if you wanted to run at something else, you could just put it in yourself. As far as the FPS cap, by default with this mod, it'll be disabled. In order to enable it, go here where it says false, and then just type in true. And then file, save, okay? Now, if you were to run into issues, you go back here and just turn it into false. But like I said, the only issue I ran into was that the voice for some of the lines didn't play for... Uh, it only happened like a couple times. It wasn't anything I even really noticed, um, but I did read it and I, I was keeping an eye out for it and I noticed it, but it wasn't anything, not a huge deal, but that's what it is, right? And then you have other things here that you can fix if you wanted to, like the FOV and other things like that. I'm going to leave this at zero. So let's jump in the game now and see how it works. Okay then, now we're in the game and you can see ultra wide is working. The UI is a little bit off, I guess. It's a little bit more to the left, the icons of our uh, party, but that's not really a big deal. Uh, let's go through the settings real quick so you guys can see what we're working with here. And we're running the game at 3440 by 1440. And then the everything is maxed out essentially. You could increase the rendering scale if you want crisper aliasing but we're gonna leave it as is for now. And let's take a look at our frame rate. We're clearly uncapped. We're running at 139 FPS. Okay, and you know, one thing I've noticed is this area here is insanely demanding. And that's the ray trace reflections, which if you look here, you can see them. They actually look really good, uh, this here. It's insanely demanding. We're gonna go engage into some battles. Uh, and then you guys can see uh, the FPS will be a lot higher than it is in this area here. Salut. Let's go back into the tower. I'm at the 15th floor. And see what we Keep can find out. And then we'll jump out of the tower and go back into the game and see if maybe we run into any issues with the uh, voice lines. But like I said, I only encountered it a couple times and that's because I was aware of it. I probably wouldn't have noticed. So as you can see here, the 
FPS is much higher than it was in that tower lobby. They're not using ray trace reflections here. Like if you look down, they disappear. These are screen space reflections here, which is probably why. Anyway, let's get into a battle. A you can see widescreen's working just fine. I've really been enjoying this game. It's a lot of fun. my morning coffee uh, we're gonna go with money give me my money wow our one percent lows are in the in the trash huh you know what's funny it's this is an unreal 4 engine game i think it's unreal 4 yeah it is and yeah you do get some uh shader compilation starters for the very first time I did actually experience them on my 7900 XDX M4090 when I was swapping drivers. And I just installed this GPU in this computer just now. That's why. But yeah, let's get into one more fight and then make our way outside. I'm itching for some action. All right. I have to do this. Looks like the enemy's weak to ice. Crap, we don't have ice. Not here. Some electricity. Make our way out of the tower and check out a bit. Ooh, nice. I do want to level. That was the first Persona I made merging two other ones. I haven't really played Persona games that much. I played a bit of five, but I've always wanted to play these games because I like I like Pokemon, I like JRPGs, and this kind of blends um, kind of like a unique Pokemon mechanic almost, you know? Like you can you can mess around with your um, personas and tweak them, add abilities and that sort what? of thing. I think Teleport it's really cool. All right. But let's get out of here and see what happens. So I don't know if that was supposed to be voiced, the Roger that. Maybe. Maybe it was. I'm not sure. But let's get out of here where we should encounter more voice lines. Yes. I'm done for the day. That's it. But yeah, as far as the uncapping the FPS, I mean, it's not really that necessary. <laughs> not in this type of game anyway. But let's see what happens here. Now I'll tell you something about myself that maybe no one gives a shit about. <laughs> but the whole like planning out your day thing, it's just kind of like, it's kind of anxiety inducing. And it's kind of why I also am not a huge fan of games like timed missions, for example, because I feel like I could be missing out if I don't do the right things. So yeah, the, the, this game does kind of impose that on you because you can only encounter and do so many events in a day. 
that you feel like, okay, I'm going to do this, but would my time have been spent better if I did something else for my progression? I don't know. But I don't think you're supposed to look at it that way. I think you're just supposed to kind of do what you want and then deal with the consequences type of thing. Let's see. Do I want to hang out with Yuko and Nishiwaki? Or go to the bookstore? Let's check out the bookstore, I guess. It's something I haven't done before. Okay, so it looks like these uh, little, these activities that give you social links. So social links in this game improve your persona fusions and abilities, the way I understand it. And hey, look, we can see the, the RT reflections here. They look pretty good. I just wish they had added some more stuff. But anyway, I digress. If you look in the little mini map, it shows a little icon uh, with a little mask. And I think those are the social things you can do that improve your persona fusions. Now, I'm sure some persona diehards are probably laughing at me, <laughs> but this is all new to me. So it's kind of it's kind of what I what I'm uh, understanding here. But anyway, I don't think there's really much else to see here, though. I mean, um, this is how you unlock the FPS, essentially. Welcome. And what would you like to order? Our special today uh, is some fresh I mean, the voices seem to work fine. As you might suspect. We don't serve sushi here. It's funny, I encountered this old couple earlier uh, in the plague, and uh, <laughs> the guy thought they had a sushi store, but it's a bookstore. That's hilarious. Oh, you're a student, aren't you? <laughs> then you must be from Gekko Khan High. But yeah, I mean, I, I think it works fine. I think it works fine. Persimmon tree there, don't you? I, I was mostly for the ultra wide fix here. Uh, I gotta say, I mean, on this QD OLED display with the Windows Auto HDR, the game looks amazing. It looks really, really nice. I don't have HDR enabled now for this recording, but it, it actually works pretty well. But anyway, I think that'll be it. I mean, mainly I wanted to showcase the mod because I was asked about it on my previous video by a couple of people, so I figured why not show it and you guys can do whatever you want with it. And I hope it helped you guys out. So yeah. Give it a like and subscribe for more content if you want. I do appreciate you watching the video. I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye. Let's buy a book. Excuse my husband. Just consider it the ramblings of an old man. Oh, yeah.